Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our West of Loathing Let's Play. We are here in Ghostwood trying to find a <laughs> um a permit to go ahead and log for the other for Breadwood. Let's knock on this. Well, howdy, what can I do for you, Miss Autry? I'm here on behalf of the mayor of Breadwood. He needs a permit to do some logging in this area. Sounds like a job for the department administration. That's the building all the way down on the other end of the street. Got it, thanks. Okay, can I knock on here? Department of Records, how can I help you, Miss Autry? Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna say, <laughs> say it to all of them. <coughs> okay, let's go here. Oh, Miss Autry, how can I be of service? Geez, finally, I'm here on behalf of the mayor of Breadwood. He needs a permit to do some logging in this area. I see. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I'll just need to review the logging records to make sure there are no disqualifying incidents. Go to the Department of Records. It's two doors down. And tell them I need a Breadwood file pertaining to logging. Something wrong? Not yet. I'm just stealing myself in anticipation. <laughs> two doors down. Okay. Supposed to pick up a file on the town of Breadwood. Oh, you want the Department of Records? It's next door. This is the adjunct Department of Records. Okay. Oh, we gotta go <laughs> this way then. Supposed to pick up a file on the town of Bre Breadwood. One moment, please. Breadwood. Applewood? Antiwood? Badwood? Did you mean Bagelwood? No, it's Breadwood. Must be a suburb. Beaverwood? Bestwood? Bitterwood? Bloodwood? Oh, here we are. Breadwood. Which section did you need? Logging records. Hmm, that section has been downgraded from disuse. You'll need to pick it up from the adjunct department of records next door, naturally. Bring it back here when you've got it, and I'll put it in an official interdepartment document transfer folder for you. Is that really necessary? Absolutely, you can't transfer documents between departments without an interdepartment document transfer folder. It's unthinkable. <sighs> department of records sent me over here to pick up a file. Great, which file? Logging reports for the town of Breadwood. All right, one second. Ah, uh, here we are. Um, but what's wrong? Well, these pages are all loose. I can't give them to you like this. What if they blow away? I'm just taking them next door. They're giving me a documents folder. Folder. It'd be fine. No, no. What if there's a freak gust of wind as soon as you leave here? It would be chaos. So what do you propose? Well, fortunately, I happen to have be the one person in town officially authorized to use a stapler. So you staple them together for me? I'd be glad to. But I don't have a stapler. Of course you don't. Don't worry, all you have to do is go to the Department of Requisitions next door and requisition one. So I bring you a stapler, you'll give me the file. Yep. Fine. Hello, something I can get for you, Miss Autry? I need to requisition a stapler. Alright, first we'll need to fill out a requisition form, I figured. Last name? Autry. First name? Cat. Middle name? Justine. Cat, Justine, Autry. Yep, checks out. Cake or pie? Excuse me? Your dessert preference, cake or pie? Pie. Ugh, well despite that, everything seems to be in order. I'll get this filled. Here's your stapler. Great, thanks. Okay, I got you a stapler. Great, uh, there's nothing better than a new stapler smell. Can I have that logging report now? You bet, chunk. Here you go. Freshly stapled and wind resistant. Thanks. And then we gotta bring it here. Okay, I'm back with those papers. Alright, let me just put those in an official interdepartment document transfer folder for you. There you are. Great, thank you. Okay, now we can finally go back here. This feels like work. <laughs> Hello, Miss Autry. How can I be of service? Okay, I got that file for you. The Breadwood logging records? Fine, let's have a look. Oh, for the love of... What's wrong? That idiot stapled the pages together right in the middle. This is why we took his damn stapler away in the first place. The file is unreadable. You're going to have to take it back and tell him to unstaple it. I hate everything. Administration wants you to unstaple these papers. Oh, sorry, I'm only authorized for stapling, not unstapling. Try next door at the Department of Records. I think they have an unstapler there. I swear to God. I need some papers unstapled. Okay, I'm fully authorized on stapler, so that's no problem. Hmm, spoke too soon, didn't you? Well, it's just that I don't see the staple remover anywhere. Oh, that's right, the Department of Libations borrowed it to open bottles. 
you have the Department of Records staple remover? So long as it removes staples, I'll be happy. Imagine it does, but our frame not authorized for unstapling. You'll have to take it back over to the records. Here you are. Great. <laughs> nothing. Go here. I'm not thinking. Ah, oh, right. we gotta go here. Here's your staple remover back. Great, let me just have a look at those papers for you. Tis tis, the gent records up to his old tricks again, I see. These don't even need to be stapled. That's what the interdepartment document transfer folder is for. Ka-chunk. There you go. Thanks. Alright, I'm back with an unstapled breadwood logging file. Alright, let's have a look. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can't see any problems with this. I'm frankly amazed. <laughs> let's get started on the paperwork for that logging permit. I am no longer amazed. Last name? Autry. First name? Cat. Middle name? Justine. Sign here. Now you sign here. And also here. And initial here. And here. <laughs> and sign here. Good, now just take this back to the mayor of Redwood and have him sign on the line and initial over here. Are you kidding me? I don't know how to do that. Ugh! Alright, we gotta go back to Breadwood. Uh, why do I always lose where it is? There it is. <laughs> Alright. We need you to sign and initial this. I think I need a ghost pencil for this. Loan him your pencil. Here you can borrow mine. Sign down here and initial over here. After some fumbling with the ghostly pencil, Mayor eventually managed to sign and initial the form. Alright, Mayor. I'll be back soon with that permit. Good luck. God willing. Good luck. Alright, back over. Alright. <laughs> Just walking. Alright, we got it signed. Okay, I've got the mayor's signature on this logging permit form. Something wrong? Cover your face with your hands. I loaned my pencil to the mayor. Oh dear. Oh no. We gotta go back for the pencil. I hate it. This is the worst. Fort Treason. Continue where you're headed. Mayor, I need my pencil back. Thank you. Back to Ghostwood. <laughs> this bureaucracy. What is it? Oh no, we're, uh, let's do out foxing. Did you know that bones, particularly dry bones like yours, are piezoelectric? His? First to materials to generate an electric charge when they're compressed, like crystals and certain types of ceramics. The interesting bit is. Oh, we got something from that. That's fine. <clears throat> All right. Can we please have this permit? Okay, I've got the mayor's signature on this logging permit form. Great, just sign the last line on the bottom where it says receipt. All right, that everything's, that's everything taken care of. Breadwood's logging permit is hereby approved. Finally, wonderful. Processing will take about 48 hours. What? Well, everything has to be filed and the actual permit has to be printed and so on. You can pick it up in two days. Are you serious? Is that breadwood logging permit ready yet? Two more days. I literally hate everything. But can we sleep for two days? Good luck with that ghost. Bunkhouse? Can we sleep? <clears throat> I think we have to go to Driftwood to sleep. Oh my god. Um. Not Driftwood. Dirtwater. I jumped into a, a grave. I was coughing. Alright. Can we go to sleep? Sleep. You dream you're locked in jail with Spoopy while fleeing for a fleeing from a poem. For some reason, you're torn apart by rats. You wake up drenched in sweat. 
What's Mosey? Day four. Can I sleep again? Sleep. You dream that you're making out with a cigarette smoking man in the middle of the desert. For some reason, you go into drinking with a pale giant. You jolt awake in a panic. Hungry? We're hungry. We should eat something. What food do we have? Eat it. Okay. Alright, let's go back to Ghostwood. Let's try to get that permit. <laughs> Look at us running. Oh my god. Is that Breadwood logging permit ready yet? Here it is. I don't have to sign anything to collect it? Nope. Are you sure? No, madam. That's it. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to Breadwood. Uh, open it with your crowbar. A lock, ranch punch, and depressed rancher candy. <laughs> okay, we got your permit. Yes, finally. Well, that is definitely going to improve the situation around here. Thank you. I just hope to never see another form again. Let's look at the list of problems. We got the skeleton raids. There's a military cemetery not far from here and I figure something must have happened to the caretaker because military skeletons keep wandering out this way and causing a ruckus. Alright, we'll check it out. Military cemetery. Up here. Okay. Um, burial plots, eternal flame, there's a shovel here, caretaker's shanty. You poke around in the shed, the caretaker appears to have been shirking his duties for quite a while, judging by the dust and cobwebs. Looks like the mayor was right about him having wandered off. Guess you're gonna have to fetch him back here to do his job. Look at the tools. <clears throat> well, tool singular, there's a shovel here. Since you already have a shovel, you leave it alone. It's not like you'd be able to dig twice as fast. Look under the chair. Like all chairs owned by one guy, it has years worth of lint and food crumbs beneath it. Let's go about the desk. It's covered with old paint, spattered newspapers, and features a large collection of tiny jars of paint, as well as a jar of fine-tipped brushes, a can of thinner, and a stack of history books. Curious. You continue to poke around in the shed. Check out the flyers tacked to the wall. You find a flyer for a military reenactment enthusiast society. Apparently they meet regular- oh god. He's one of the role players. Check out the eternal flame. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. No, it's good fire. No use wasting it. I don't want to fight him. We're fine. I don't care if he's... He's just roasting a hot dog. Burial plots. Visit a plot. Really? Let's go... 33. Oh leave okay um he was where were those role players fort memoriam was where all of them were fort of darkness no we don't want to go there right now all right which one of you is the caretaker Are you the cemetery caretaker? No, that's Jeff. I'm paralegal. Okay. Take your leave. All I wanted to know was who it was. Are you cemetery? Nope, I think Jeff said something about it the other day. Take your leave. Which one is Jeff? Hi, I'm Jeff. Are you the cemetery caretaker? Yeah, that's me. Did one of the other guys tell you? I try to keep it hushed because people assume you're a weirdo if you work in the graveyard. I'm actually here to tell you to get back to work. Because skeletons keep wandering out of the place and causing trouble from the neighbors. Aw, nuts. Alright, well look, I'm on a real winning streak here. I'll go back once it's over, okay? Looks like I broke your winning streak. Yeah, dang it, I guess you did. GG. <laughs> hey guys, I gotta get back to work. Catch you next week. 
Good. Alright. Go back to Breadwood. Should have got him back. Loot those bags. Smelling salts, nerve pills. Cool. Pig away. Alright. He should be back at work. Yep, the caretaker's back on duty. Well, that's certainly good to hear. Those skeletons were a real nuisance. They sure have a way of getting under your skin. Um. Offer to help with his problems. We could have got the lumber now. Well, let's do these last two. We take our yeast supply very seriously here in Breadwood, and that Dane yeasty gain made off with a whole lot. A couple of fellows said they saw them loitering around the old brewery, so that's probably where they've made their hideout. We need that yeast back. But yeast back. Okay, I'll go investigate. Old Schmaltz, huh? Schmaltz Brewery. Er, hello? Oh, hello, hi. What are you doing? A moon, I am looking at it. Neither moon is out right now, nothing being up there. I'm happy to waiting. Talk to it. The moon's won't to coming for hours. You to waiting this long? Yes, yes. Moon so big, so bright, so big. To waiting and seeing. You varying to liking a moons, huh? Yes, yes, very. To looking, I to collecting rocks of them. Let's educate the goblin. We got moon bits. Cool. Let's What's this? Harvest this blossom gin. The yeasty gang. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeast covered hat. Um, there's a guy back there. Beer hose. You okay, dude? The feller's too scared to talk to you. Alright, well. <coughs> Dive in to the yeast monster. Oh, how dare you. Let's get the bean golem. The uh, providing cover from gunfire. Well, I'd rather get this, and then let's do this. Thirty-four hot damage. Susie, go ahead and just shoot it. Ouch! Bean golem. With. Let's do one of these. Shoot it. Dead. We destroyed the monster. Hooray! A half a ton of yeast. So this whole yeast stuff biz does seem to have gone well for you guys. Yeah, no, I... Oh, jeez, are you a bounty hunter? Relax, the mayor just wants his yeast back. He didn't say anything about hauling you in. Well, okay, well, the yeast is in, is in that revolting pile. So what happened here? Well, we got bored of bread is all. I know a bit about brewing, and we figured it, if we came back with a couple kegs, nobody would mind so much that we stole the yeast. No offense, but it seems like you aren't much of a brewer. Hey. Well, ideally, you wouldn't end up with a ravenous yeast monster. That wasn't my... Okay, well, I guess it was my fault, but I understand what happened. These bats are old, and we didn't clean them properly first, because we were in a hurry. I think there were some frogs living in one of them. You figured you could use the extra hops? Haha. <laughs> um, if you're sure you've got it figured out... If you're sure you've got it figured out, you could set up shop in Dirtwater. Oh? Yeah, it's turning into quite a little metropolis. I'd love to have my own place. Okay, I'll go check it out. Oh, cool. We got a brewery in Dirtwater. Arrest him. You're under arrest. For what? Stealing about two handfuls of yeast? Yes. The sentence for that is, what, about three days in jail? Um, Birdwood does not actually have a jail? Alright, I'll have you off with a warning this time. All right, we got your yeast, buddy. Uh, open it with a crowbar. Okay, let's turn in the yeast. Yep. Well done, that's quite a help. Thank you, happy to help. And we got one more problem to do, right? The missing bread. The baker boys cleaned our bank right out, and that's not a bit fabulous if you ask me. Fortunately, I haven't been too secretive about the location of their hideout. Can you get our bread back? I mean, the place is called Breadwood. We have some... We have to have some bread. Alright, I'll be right back. Baker Boy's hideout. Okay. Times, doer, you're under arrest. What? Why? What did I do? 
Crimes, you so much criming. I am never criming. <laughs> Telling it at a judge, crimers does. Goblin ton. Ah, we don't have enough to outfox him. We're gonna have to fight him. Oh my god. Bean golem. This. And then this. Susie's gonna have to put up this, I think, otherwise we are gonna die. Oh, shut the the board. Let's do this. <clears throat> Alright. Rusty deputy badge. Forging too. This is all garbage, it says. Okay, uh, hey guys. Hey, you boys want to know about some bread that went missing, would you? Ah, oh, not to told you we get in trouble, Billy. Shut up, Jerry. Way to just blab everything, dude. Calm down, you two. The mayor just wants his bread back. Hand it over and the trouble you're in will be minimal. It ain't that simple, lady. We sold that bread for meat to start up this bakery. Why? Because we wanted to make something with our lives. Everyone in Breadwood is just bums. Plus, like, everyone needs bread, right? So we figured we'd make it big. Okay, well, no problem. We take the mayor the bread you've made and call it even. Oh yeah, no problem, except for the fact we don't know a dang thing about making bread, it turns out. All we ended up with is weird lumps. Oh, that ain't true, Billy. The last loaf we tried was almost right. Yeah, sure, that one was nearly edible, but we're practically out of ingredients. Maybe I can help. Um... I don't have time. Being slinger plus 25 mysticality. Look, I know cooking magic. Just give me whatever ingredients you have left. And we won't learn how to bake it ourselves. Fine, fine. I'll think of something else. I might know someone. Now, no, who's that? She might just be the solution to her problems. Let me head over to where she lives and talk to her your, for yourself. Travel to the Lazy A Dude Ranch. Nah. No. Me too. Leave him alone. Where's Louise? Was this Louise right here? Do you know someone that's hiring a baker? I do happen to know of a bakery that needs some help. Really? That's wonderful. Oh geez, I can't go like this. Though I'm filthy. Nobody would ever let me step foot. Do you have a bar of soap? Oh my god. Okay, well we'll find the bar of soap in the next episode. Um, uh, we'll go... To the general store, I think. Get a bar of soap. Come back. We'll recruit her. And then we'll finish up Breadwood. So, guys, thank you so much for all your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the West of Loathing Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I uh, will see you guys next time. Alright, bye-bye, everyone.